Hello everyone, welcome to the first tutorial of System Rock in 5 minutes. For the first one, we're gonna start with an introduction. There are many aspects to learn about System Rock. To begin with, it is best to know what is System Rock and what it is used for. And to understand that, we have to start from this little component called a transistor. Transistor has many characteristics, but one of the most important one is that it can act like a switch, just like the one you have at your home. You have to apply physical force and flip the switch in order to turn on an electrical appliance. There is another kind of switch where instead of using physical force, it uses a remote control to send a signal to turn it on. Transistor is pretty much like that. It is turned on or off by sending a signal to its gate pin. There are two types of transistor, or to be accurate, there are two polarities. One that is turned on by sending a logical 1 voltage, and the other one which is turned on by sending a logical 0 voltage. Now we can arrange several transistors together to perform some basic logical functions. Take a look at the leftmost arrangement. The transistors are arranged in a parallel manner. In order to turn on the load, you can turn on transistor A, or transistor B, or both. This forms a logical OR gate. At the middle arrangement, the transistors are arranged in a serial manner. Both transistor A and transistor B need to be turned on for the electric current to pass through. This forms a logical AND gate. At the rightmost arrangement, two transistors of different polarity are used, and they are controlled by the same input of A. Only one of them can be turned on at one time. The load is turned on if input A is at logical zero voltage. This forms a logical NOT gate. Using logic gates, we can combine them to perform even more complex functions. The diagram shows a multiplexer, or in simple English, a selector. Its output O will follow input A or input B depending on selector input S. And now at long last, we've come to System Verilog. This is to answer the first question, what is System Verilog? System Verilog is a hardware description language. It is capable of describing digital electronic circuit, like the one in the diagram. First, you use module to represent the design. You provide a name to the design. In this case, it is called MUX, which is a shorthand for multiplexer. You describe its port in the bracket, which are three input ports, A, B, and S, and one output port, O. There are three internal wires, here, here, and here. The rest of the code is to connect all the wires together. This coding style is called structural design. It is literally describing the circuit, gate to gate, connection to connection. The downside of this code is that it is difficult to understand what the design intention is, which is why there is another way of describing the same circuit. This coding style is behavioral. It is easier to understand the design functionality as it is spelling out the relationship between the inputs and the output. In contrast, it is difficult to visualize its circuit. Bear in mind that these two pieces of code represent the same circuit even if they look different. Alright, now let's backtrack a little. We've approached this from a bottom-up manner, that is from transistor to system Verilog. Now, let's take it top-down. This is to answer the second question, what is system Verilog used for? There are two usages and you've already known the first one, which is to create digital electronic circuits. To be exact, you can use a synthesis tool to transmit the code into a netlist, which then can be used to create a circuit on a silicon chip. This flow, however, has an inherent problem. Imagine that after you produce the silicon and find that it does not work. It will be difficult to find a root cause, and if at the end you find a problem to be with the code, you will have to fix the code and restart the whole process again, which is extremely costly. This is why we should use Simulation 2 to simulate the design before we go into silicon production. Simulation is the second usage of System Verilog. In summary, System Verilog is an HDL, hardware description language. It has two usages, one is synthesis and the other one is simulation. In the next tutorial, we will look into creating signals and controlling the signals.